Hello, good evening. Thanks for tuning in to the AFB Awards. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be live this year, uh, but I've gone through all of the votes um, and tonight I'll announce the winners and the runners up um, across all of the categories in this year's awards. Uh, so grab a drink, I've got the wiper and tree, um, and, and, and settle in for, uh, for uh, probably about 20 minutes uh, of, the, of the AFB Awards. I've got um, a few categories. got the best AF lager, the best IPA, best stout, a pale ale, uh, your favourite brewery, um, your favourite draft beer, and also uh, your favourite imported um, brewery as well. Um, and, and then at the end, I'll announce this year's winner of the uh, services to AF Beer Awards, um, where I've selected someone um, iconic within the industry uh, who's going to be honoured this year. Um, so firstly, thank you to everyone who's voted in this year's awards. Um, about two thirds of our AF Beer Club members voted, um, plus lots of other people um, who either follow me or it's been shared across the, the, the AF Beer community. So thank you so much for uh, for voting voting um all the beers um that have been nominated this year they're all um that have been released in 2022 um there's been an incredible amount of beer uh the quality seems to be improving um yeah just so many new beers new breweries uh, and i think we've seen massive improvements um in the quality and also the availability as well um, we're drinkers keen uh, to support uh, the independent breweries we're going to be looking at today. Um, I think we'll start with the uh, best pale ale. Um, that was a category last year that was kind of incorporated with the IPA category. And uh, that was won by um, Beavertown Lays Crush um, last year. Uh, but because there's just been so many beers, it seems to be like the most... Um, you know, it's it's the most common style. I think uh, we've changed, put it into two categories. We've got the uh, pale ale and the IPA. So we do the pale ale now. Um, looking at the nominations, there were seven entries for Mash Gang. Um, there's three entries for Good Karma um, and Low Tide and Only with Love. They had two each as well. Um, there's also a few of the favourites that we've had in the boxes, um, like. Um, the Merakai and the Purity beers as well. So uh, lots to choose from. Um, so uh, I start from third place. In third was um, Northern Monk, Holy Faith. Uh, in second was Only With Love with the GCAF. And the winner of the Pale Ale Alcohol free beer this year was Mash Gang with Chug. So uh, we've got a little video from them um, in acceptance, so I'll uh, put it on now. Chug Gold winning Best Pale, it seems pretty surreal now. So I just wanted to firstly thank Robin at AF Beer Club and everyone that voted. Um, Chug's obviously always been around with us as part of a core range beer. And with recently uh, Chug Gold coming out as well. That was really a homage to seeing well, how far we could push that beer. And it's a core range that's going to stay with us. Um, so thank you to everyone that voted. It means a lot to us. And we came up against some really good breweries there. So it seems pretty mad to win it. So thank you, everyone. Um, and have a great new year. We'll move on to the next award. Um, this one is for the best AF Stout of 2022. Uh, so last year that was won by uh, Low Tide um, with their um, uh, Who Let The Bees Out, uh, which is like a legendary uh, stout, which they really want people to make again. We really want them to make again. Um, and um, yeah, so we had loads of new beers in this category. Um, the uh, Jump Ship, they brought out a new um, stout, which is really nice, adding to their sort of lager and pails that they have. Um, Tempest had a milk stout. We had sort of pastry stouts from uh, Fusion and Only With Love. Um, and we also had the Hamilton uh, Crunch peanut peanut butter stout as well. Um, so, yeah, there's uh, loads of new ones. Um, so I'll go for the top three again. Um, in third was um, Northern Monk with Holy Death. Uh, number two was Low Tide in Newtown with Sky at Night. And the winner uh, is 
the collaboration between Fierce and Mash Gang. Uh, it's called Very Small Moose. And that's your winner of the Best AF Stout 2022. Um, we'll hear from uh, the team at Fierce now. Hi guys, just want to say thank you to uh, Robin and all of his followers at AF Beer Club uh, for voting Very Small Moose, um, Best Art Beer. Um, we're really proud of this one. And also a big thanks to Mash Gang as well. Cheers. Thank you to the team of Fierce for that video. Um, we'll move on to the next category now, and it's for the best IPA of 2022. Um, like I say, last year it was uh, in the same category as The Pale, and Beavertown uh, Laser Crush won that last year. Um, this year, again, tons of nominations. Uh, There's three, I think, for Low Tide, a uh, couple for Mash Gang, a couple for Brulo. Uh, we had um, the Free Star, which was in the in the boxes, which was really good. Um, so, yeah, loads and loads to choose from again. Um, but the top three is, um, in number three, it's Brulo, which was the Tropic of Now, the Double Dried Hop IPA. Um, number two... Uh, just missing out it was uh, Holy Heathen uh, by Northern Monk, and the winner is Paradigm Shift by Mash Gang. Uh, another win for Mash Gang. That's three on the spin now. So congratulations to them, and we'll hear a clip from them now. Hey everyone! Huge thank you for everyone that voted for Paradigm Shift. Huge thank you to Robin for hosting the awards and for really pushing the message of alcohol-free beer in the UK and beyond. The first two years of the gang uh, really have been about pursuit of innovation, um, striving to drive the overall quality of low and low alcohol options up. And Paradigm Shift really represents the manifestation of that, that uh, improvement, that continuous improvement. It sets the tone for what we do next, and we're only going bigger and better from here. Thank you again. Appreciate you all. Lots of love. Next up is the uh, best AF draft category. So this is a new one. Uh, just because we're seeing so many um, beers now coming out um, in pubs on keg. Um, uh, if you don't use it already, check out my map, um, the AF on tap map, um, where I try and keep a, a record of all the places that are uh, pouring alcohol-free beer uh, across Britain. So, uh, yeah, lots to choose from um, in this category. Um, there was the three uh, sort of standout um, ones that, um, that, uh, that, that that got your got your majority of votes. So, so um, in third, it was um, Northern Monk again uh, with Holy Faith. Um, I think that's, uh, it's, you know, it's been available a little bit, um, mainly in the north, in, in the Leeds and Manchester, where their, where their bars are. Um, but yeah, that's obviously going down well. Um, and then in number two, it is Big Drop, Paradiso. I know they've made a real push um, to get their beers out on draft around the UK. But um, the, the, the winner by, by a fair margin was... Um, Lucky Saint, uh, who are just getting everywhere at the moment, a uh, real, real push um, in the on the bar and restaurant and pubs. So, uh, yeah, well deserved. Uh, that's uh, Lucky Saint, the winner of the 2022 Best AF Draft. Hi, I'm Luke. I'm the founder of Lucky Saint, and I'm extremely proud that Lucky Saint has just been voted the best alcohol-free beer on draft in the AF Beer Club Awards. Um, huge thank you to Robin and the team for everything that you do, not just with the awards, but more broadly in promoting the category and bringing it to more and more consumers. Uh, 2022 has been another amazing year, not just for Lucky Saint, but for the category in general. Uh, and we know there are brilliant things to come for next year. So many thanks, Robin. Many thanks to all the team at Lucky Saint who've made this all happen. And... Here's to 2023. Cheers. Thanks, Luke, for that video. Um, yeah, so the next category is going to be the best AF Lager of 2022. Um, last year, it was won uh, by Mash Gang with um, Stoop. That was when they were kind of still in the early developments of their 
of their brewery. Um, and now, uh, like we see, we've seen them won a lot of awards already. So, uh, yeah, not not a great deal in the lager category compared to the other ones. Um, but we did have uh, Free Star, the Innocent Gun, um, uh, Good Karma. Uh, so, yeah, there's a, there's a few to choose from there. Um, well, the winner, so, sorry, not the winner, the, the, in number three, uh, it, is, uh, it is Good Karma with Happy Pills. Um, in number two, um, it is Mash Gang with Manganada. And then uh, in number one, uh, for the second year running, uh, Mash Gang takes the award for Best AF Lager for Brewski. So we'll hear another video from there. Congratulations. Thank you so, so much for your votes. It's an incredible honour to win Best Lager. Um, Robin does amazing work with the AF Beer Club. And it gives me carte blanche to make it again this coming year. So thanks a lot for that, because I bloody love that beer. Well done, guys. Uh, coming towards the end of it now, we're going to go to the, the, the best imports. Um, so we, we in the boxes, we've brought over quite a few um, different beers from around the world. We had um, Devil's Peak uh, from South Africa this year. We've had a few beers from Athletic um, in America. A couple of Michelas, uh, Omnipolo. So, so there's been a lot to choose from. Um, not as much, I think, as in previous years. Uh, we've seen um, more of a push on the on the um, British beers, um, but there's still is a, a, is a, some alcohol-free beers coming over um, that we're trying to get in the boxes. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah. Last year it was won by uh, by Guinness, <laughs> surprisingly, um, and uh, th so this year the top three uh, in third is um, Athletic uh, from America. In uh, second place is Mikela from Denmark, and uh, the winner they just pipped Mikela for this one is. Funky fluids in Poland. Um, so yeah, they that we we've included a f a f quite a few of their beers, and there's even more that we haven't had um, that are in that they've done that are in uh, that they're bringing over here. So yeah, really really great stuff. Always interesting. Um, lots of fruit, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and and yeah, uh, obviously people seem to like it, and uh, we'll keep bringing them over and uh, and sharing them with you. So congratulations to Funky Fluid. Um, we don't have an acceptance video from them, unfortunately, so um, I guess I'll uh, take a quick break and um, then I'll move on to the next category. So we've just got one more award um, and then voted by you and then we've got the um, the Service of the AFB award as well. So just, just the two more to get through. Um, the next one is your favourite AF brewer. So this one is a free vote. You can choose who, whoever you want. Um, didn't want to be swayed by my uh, my nominations, but uh, yeah. So you could choose choose anyone, any British brewers, um, and uh, yeah. We like I said at the start, we've had so many uh, new new breweries, also um, full strength breweries that are um, having a go at doing alcohol free as well. So lots to choose from, um, but yeah. So the top three. Um, in third is, uh, is is one of my favourites. Well, they all are really. Uh, it's uh, it's only with love. Uh, in third place, um, second place is Low Tides. Again, another a great one who always releasing brilliant new beer. But and I know it's no surprise, <laughs> guess <laughs> based on the previous awards. But number one by a, a, a fair margin is, is of course it's it's Mash Gang. They've just been. Absolutely incredible this year. They must be onto like five, six beers a month, if not more. Um, and yeah, and, and the quality is so good. And 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 you and you voted with your feet. So uh, yeah, congratulations to Mash Gang. And we'll have another video from another one of the gang members. Well, we weren't expecting that. Um, to be honest, when the nomination list came out, we kind of had a joke about doing content around fumbling the bag because you know we had too many nominations. The competition was too good, and we weren't going to get enough votes. And I've been completely devastated by, you know, how wrong I've been proven. Um, thank you so much. Uh, from the bottom of our hearts, we love this community, and we love 
like all of the breweries that we collaborate with, we love all of the craft beer shops, we love all the disties, we love the subscription box folks. Oh, hi Robin. But um, to have a little bit of that love reflected back on us, it's just very special. Um, we don't take it for granted. 2022 has been massive for us, and it's because of the community that we are where we are. 2023 is going to be even bigger and better. Happy New Year! Congratulations again to Mash Game for winning the best AF Brewer 2022. Um, yeah, fantastic. Like I said, that output has been incredible this year. Um, so the last thing to say is uh, it's just a little um, sort of nod from me um, for uh, for someone who I think deserves a, a special mention. Um, in previous years, um, this award has gone to uh, to Ridgeside Brewery um, for the amazing work they're doing in our cold free. Um, and, um, and and yeah, this year it's for someone who's um, just releasing great beer primarily, um, trying to out new styles, bringing things different, um, fantastic design on the cans, um, and, and really trying to push the push the boundaries of alcohol free. Um, now that could be said for a lot of uh, people, especially this year. Um, but this person is it's, it's gone back many many years. They've been doing it since two thousand and sixteen, uh, when they were um, a, a key. Uh, well, they were the founder of uh, of Nirvana Brewery. Um, and um, since then, his path's um, g gone on to uh, lots of experimenting, um, going around the world, um, trying new flavours, bringing it into his beers and, and making exciting uh, craft alcohol-free beer. Um, he's worked with um, Cloudwater and a collaboration um, for their uh, uh, box of beers, including his alcohol-free beer. Um, He's also worked with many other full strength brewers to um, help them sort of access the alcohol free world. Um, and and he does a lot of consultancy work with um, AF brewers as well. Some of the some of the names that we've spoken about today, um, he's played a big part in, in, the, in their brewing process. Um, yeah, I, I've had the pleasure of chatting to him the last few years since I've been doing this and he's such a kind and, and and helpful person who um just just really just cares so much about um about alcohol free beer and, and brewing on the whole um yeah so i, just, I mean <laughs> he deserves this more than anyone i think um yeah the 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 services to af beer award for 2022 goes to steve from good karma so congratulations steve um i know you begrudgingly <laughs> didn't really want to do this video but uh uh, I think you deserve a bit of the limelight as much as you don't want it. But um, no, you, 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 like I say, you've you've done amazing things. Um, you keep us all on our toes when it comes to new beers. Um, and and I know so many people in the industry have got great things to say about you. So um, congratulations, Steve. Um, and here's the little video that he's done for us. Cheers. Hello. Well, I wasn't expecting this award. Um, don't even think I deserve it, to be honest. But Rob, you nutter, mate. Thanks very much. Really, really appreciate it, pal. You know, back in 2016, when I first got into AF with the first project at Nirvana, you know, nobody believed in AF. You know, everybody was laughing at me. But you know what? Look where we've all come. Um, over the last six years, um, I've met some incredible people um, who I call dear friends now. I've had my fair share of heartache in this industry as well you know but you know you pick yourself up and you get on with it and hopefully i'm gonna have some good uh, good vibrations positive energy at uh, good karma you know it's uh it's like i said you know nobody believed in our industry all those years ago and what you all are doing you know we are where we are because of what you do you know um and, uh, you know, we're going to take this to the next level. I think next year is going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing year. Um, Rob, thanks very much, man. Um, thank you all. And I um, want to wish you all a very happy new year. Sending you all positive vibrations and good karma for next year. Namaste. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Um, hope you've enjoyed the awards. Um... Really interested to know uh, what you think of the winners and the runners up. Uh, is there anything that you think maybe should have won that hasn't? Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. And um, 
yeah, keep keep supporting me. We've got I've got the podcast um, that I'm starting to do now, as well as the monthly boxes. So whatever you can do to to support and help and just share uh, everything that what I'm doing, um, it would be really appreciated. Uh, so yeah, thanks again. Cheers. Have a great 2023.